Hello everyone, today we have video review in a bit different format I would say because we would review a kit in a backwards fashion and first you would see all the components and only then you would uh, see an uh, actual box of the kit. So maybe you have guessed uh, what we will be reviewing today from the name of this video but nevertheless let's start with the uh, assembly manual. Assembly manual as you can see is printed on the in form of this nice brochure and yes this is Horton 229 from Zoki Mura in 148 scale as you can see here so assembly manual is not printed as a uh, let's say uh, maintenance brochure as it's usually uh, designed in 132 scale model kits from Zoki Mura but nevertheless it's still nice we have some uh, technical specifications of the real aircraft here then we have some short history note, uh, some assembly advices and paint charts. Then we have assembly process explained with nice pictures, which are quite traditional for the Zoki Mura. And I would say that it's quite informative and it should be easy to guess what you have to do on this or this step. As you can see, original structure of the 132 scale model is carefully preserved. Of course, a smaller scale has its own limits, but nevertheless, digitalization is still nice. Here we have parts map and decals placement guide and marking guide. And then we have uh, decal sheet. Decal sheet is printed in Zoki Mura itself. Here you can see just let the focus camera focus a bit. So here you can see a decal sheet. Very nice printing quality. We have decals for the cockpit. We have various stencils, and also we have all numbers which you would need. I mean, you can uh, copy whichever version you would like to. So that's all for this. Let's say paperback components. Now let's jump in for the spruce. Uh, so spruce uh, are mixed from the gray plastic and transparent plastic. Here you can see gray plastic sprue. Just give me a moment to zoom the camera a bit. Yes, now you see it. And here we have all parts uh, for the subframe of this aircraft. As you can see molding quality is very nice. And I think it should look good on the assembled model on the finished model. Really uh, careful molding, even some tiny elements are carefully molded out of this grey plastic. Uh, here we have canopy frame. Note that attachment points are a bit thick, but nevertheless we saw this before on the Zoki Mura kits, so it should be not a surprise for us. Ok, so we pack this sprue back to the bag and we move on to the next one. As usual for the Okimura, all sprues are packed into the plastic bags, here you can see it. So, it should be more or less ok for the sprue to uh, have a rough shipment. Nevertheless, in my uh, sample, one part was broken off, you would see it further in the video review. Uh, and now here we have another grey plastic sprue. This one contains parts for the tanks, which should be placed, obviously, in the wings. And as you can see, this look very nice and should be assembled from several parts. As you can see, these are empty inside, so you have to glue them together. Very nice molding quality once again, and again, thick attachment points. Come on, Zokimura, you can do it better, and I mean, especially in such nice model. So another plastic screw is packed and we have next one. Next one contains wheels, winding gear wheels. Just let the camera focus a bit. Yes, now you see it. So these wheels should be assembled from two parts. And I would rather search for the resin alternative because of course it's much better to have uh, better digitalization, um, especially in this scale. Nevertheless, here you can see I will try to zoom the camera for you. Just give me a second. And camera doesn't want to focus on it. No, you don't see it. 
Okay, so there are uh, writings on the tire walls. Yes, now you see it. So here you can see continental written on the tire. And here are some other parts, some external components, for example, winding gear OX. And for here we have wing frames and some other minor elements. All those look beautiful, but nevertheless, again, I complain about thick attachment points because I would like to see a better molding quality in Zoki Mura kits because this model they deserve a better quality. I think you may agree with this. Nevertheless, of course, for the professional model, it won't be a great problem. I mean, especially considering the detailization of the kit, uh, it, it's uh, let's say sacrifice it can be tolerated. Here we have uh, wing frames as you can see these parts are molded as one piece elements but nevertheless you would have to delete all those tiny pins which are present there and there and there and there and everywhere. Other than that very nice and almost similar to its bigger brother which is molded in 132 scale. Okay now uh, I need to pack this one also. Go to the back. And here we have our first transparent sprue. Of course, if we count it backwards, just give my camera a moment to focus on the parts. I think you've noticed that video quality is a bit different from the previous one. And of course, I would be happy to hear your opinion about this. But nevertheless, here we have a focused image, and here we have transparent uh, physiwitch elements as on the big Horton. So you can leave uh, all those panels unpainted, and all internal uh, structure will be exposed. Nevertheless, of course, you can paint them and have a proper scale model with, uh, let's say, some of the uh, Luftwaffe camouflages. Here you have a canopy part. Uh, note that masks were not included, so you would have to source them by yourself. And here you can note that one part is broken off because of the tight packaging. Uh, so be careful and maybe ask seller to pack it a bit more careful. Nevertheless, mine, uh, my kit was packed into a huge box, which is quite, I mean, like twice bigger than actual size of the kit box, and wrapped into the foam, and nevertheless, here you can see the result. Okay, next frame contains uh, wing panels. As you can see, recess panel lines, hatches are molded uh, where they have to be and look quite nice. These are, uh, let's say, frozen transparent parts. So, all elements would be visible, but not like uh, through the uh, fully clear part, let's say. And here we have separately molded aileron, or maybe even flapperon. I don't remember exactly how this part worked on Horton, to be honest. But nevertheless, it's nice that even in 148 scale, we still have uh, separate wing mechanization elements. Uh, here we have two other uh, wing hubs. Again, camera needs a moment to focus on the, the huge parts. And they look approximately the same, which means nice. And here we have again uh, some engine covers. Here is another one. And some external parts here, for example. This, I guess, should be air brakes, which were present on this huge flying wing. Okay, we pack this plastic sprue. It's also quite surprising because now uh, Zoki Mura usually packs all transparent parts into the foam, and here we have parts just like this. I mean, no foam packaging, no any other, let's say, precaution in order to avoid damage. So be careful and again check it before you purchase or maybe uh, demand uh, careful packaging. 
Here we have uh, grey plastic sprue, it's much smaller than the previous ones, but nevertheless it contains these nice machine guns. Here is one and here is another one. These are molded as one piece, but note the attachments, so you would have to be careful while separating them. I would say that uh, scanning down process for the Horton went well and we have quite a nice model. I mean, now you can see the sprue with engine parts and detailization is almost similar to the bigger model. We have separately molded tubings, we have separately molded uh, engine parts and note that each engine would be assembled from two halves, but there are no position pins inside, so alignment would be up to you. And um, simplification in this model uh, was done in terms that there is no uh, that much, uh, let's say, uh, propellers inside as it was on the bigger model. Of course, the sprues are uh, included into the kit in the double number, so we have two similar sprues, absolutely similar, absolutely identical, which look absolutely the same. Here is another one. Then we have this uh, quite an interesting bag, which is interconnected, and here we have one piece molded uh, front transparent part of the airplane. Just give me a second to focus the camera for you. Uh, foo, foo, foo. Still doesn't focus. <laughs> I think we would need time to get used to this camera. Okay, so here you see it. It's absolutely the same, let's say, design as it was on the bigger scale model. And I really appreciate that uh, Zokimura decided to uh, stay on the same design and use the same structure as it was on the bigger model, but nevertheless use some, uh, let's say, design solutions that should make assembly easier. Here we have one of the wing frames. Uh, as you can see, it's molded as a one uh, piece part, but it's molded on the uh, small plastic sprue, and it looks quite nice. No thick attachment points again, but I hope that. This would be easy to tackle on your uh, model. Okay, so now we have last plastic bag incoming. Here it is, another small um, sprue with wing frame, which is also molded as one piece. And I would say it's identical to the previous one, which we saw before. Here you can see it. We have the small pins inside, so be sure to cut them off. And here you can see this thick attachment point which I was mentioning before. Okay, so I pack this last sprue into the back. And here is the box. Box with all the sprues inside. And here you can see comparison with my hand size. But nevertheless, it won't be, uh, let's say, final without this nice top part, this nice box art, as on the 132 release. Here again, you can see comparison with my hand size. So it's quite small box, but nevertheless, it's thick. So that's why there are so many sprues packed inside, I mean, they fit inside. So, uh, that's all for the video review. Once again, I remind you that uh, now we shoot the videos on the new camera, so I would be happy to hear your opinion about the quality, if it's better or if it's not. And, of course, I would be happy to hear your opinion about this kit. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to like our Facebook group, because more uh, reviews are coming soon. As usual, see you in the next video and goodbye!